What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Way of Wade All City 11 V2 basketball shoe. I'll be comparing this shoe with my experience wearing the Way of Wade 10 Low basketball shoe. And you can watch the full video review of that shoe linked below. I really love all the various colorways from the All City 11 V2 shoes because they're so vibrant and bright. I chose the sky colorway because the baby blue is one of my favorite colors and the blue combined with the organic flowing shapes almost looks like water flowing. I also like how the shapes still look very sharp and aggressive, which also reminds me of fire and water at the same time. The All City is true to size so you don't need to go half a size up like the 10 lows, which felt much tighter than the average basketball shoe. The wide toe box gave my toes plenty of room to spread and grip the floor without any excessive rubbing of the toes. I have pretty wide feet, so I did feel some pressure along the middle sides of my feet, but not as much as the 10 lows. If you have average width feet, then your feet should feel just fine in these shoes. The All Cities were very playable right out of the box and didn't need a break in period. The overall material of the upper is more flexible than the 10 Lows which made it much more comfortable to wear. The entire sole, especially the mid sole, was also more flexible than the 10 Lows which is my personal preference for sole design. This made max jumping much easier because your foot has a little more time to transition from heel to toe during your penultimate step, which is the most important step during your vertical jump. The 10 lows, on the other hand, has a full length carbon plate, which makes the sole much stiffer, which in theory should provide greater energy return for jumping and sprinting. However, I personally felt like that specific design made me jump more from my toes, where I was leaving the ground quickly, but not powerfully. The All Cities, on the other hand, just has their full length boom midsole and no carbon fiber, making me feel more bouncy by allowing more time to execute a powerful jump. Another benefit of the All City sole was that it was thicker which made me feel more bouncy than the 10 lows, but not super bouncy. It also provided better shock absorption during the jump landings. I remember feeling some discomfort in my heels from the 10 lows, but I didn't feel any discomfort or extra soreness from the all cities. The traction is above average. I did slip awkwardly on a dusty part of the gym floor, but that only happened once in a two hour training session. I was really hoping that the All Cities would have the same exact traction as the 10 Lows because that traction was the best I've ever felt. The shoe will slide a little bit when you sprint at full speed and try to change direction. However, if you are only taking a few steps to change direction, there is no slide and you can push off right away. I wish that the shoe was more responsive because there were a few moments where I felt a slight delay in making last minute movements or I couldn't push off right away. When I wore the 10 lows, I was able to move immediately when I wanted to because the shoe was incredibly responsive. I wonder if that's a combination of the decreased traction from the All Cities along without having a full length carbon fiber plate because if the shoe cannot stay in place and not have immediate energy return, then that could cost you 0.1 or 2 seconds, which is all it takes to not get the ball that you wanna get. So that's my theory. If you know more about shoes than I do, let me know your theory in the comments below. The All Cities actually felt more stable than the 10 Lows. I noticed that the sole is wider at the sides of the toe box and the heel, which provides a more stable base for the shoe. The heel cup locked in my heel without any rubbing or discomfort on my heel or the Achilles tendon. So the back of the shoe felt incredibly comfortable. I also felt very stable even during awkward and imbalanced landings, which is one of the most important aspects of shoe design because that will prevent many injuries in your ankles and knees. Unfortunately, after wearing the All Cities during my very first time, the inside near the top lacing was rubbing pretty hard against the top of my foot near the ankle bone to the point where it was bleeding. It only happened on my left foot, but it did get to the point where I had to stop wearing that shoe that day. 
There's also no plastic in that area and all the material is soft, so I'm not sure why it was only rubbing in that area. But that just might be me and that will happen less as I break in the shoe more or do the laces in a different way. Overall, the All City is a solid shoe with only a few areas of improvement. The shoe was pretty comfortable, especially compared to the 10 Lows with its softer and more flexible design. My ankles felt stable and protected during jumping, change of direction, and landing. Even though the bounce of the sole was better than the 10 Lows, I still prefer an even bouncier sole like the Dame 8s. I would like the traction to be stickier to make the shoe even more responsive and for the middle sides of the shoe to be a little more flexible so it's not pressing against the sides of my feet. But I know that's happening mainly because I have wide feet. Let me know what your experience is with the Way of Wade basketball shoes in the comments below.